हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मुनम फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स एंड वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू अवर चैनल ऑफ डब्ल्यू पी स्विंग्स वेर वी डिस्कस वर्ल्ड प्रेस एंड वो कॉमर्स सोल्यूशन दैट कैन हेल्प यू ग्रो योर ऑनलाइन बिजनेस विच विल अल्टीमेटली असिस्ट यू टू प्रोवाइड अ टॉप नॉच यूजर एक्सपीरियंस एंड कस्टमर सेटिस्फैक्शन हैंस स्टे ट्यून विद अवर चैनल टू कीप गेटिंग बैक टू बैक प्रोडक्ट टूटोरियल्स एंड इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स Today's demo video is on return refund and exchange for WooCommerce plugins free version. You can check and download the plugin from the video description content and if you have any doubts or queries regarding the plugin functionalities you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you. Before proceeding with the plugin setup part let's understand what is return refund and exchange for WooCommerce plugin and what does it do. Return refund and exchange for WooCommerce is a plugin that helps the WooCommerce merchants to implement the refund functionality for the customer to return their products and get the money refunded back in case the product is damaged not fit or any other issues coming with the product moreover the admin can add multiple refund reasons for the product that a customer can select and allow refunds on different order status the plugin also offers the features by which the customer can add attachments for the product they are making a refund so this was all about the plugins intro part now let's move to the back end and see the plugins installation and setup part We are on the WordPress dashboard so before starting with the setup part let me explain you how easily you can install the plugin so for installing the plugin you have to click on hover on plugins and click on add new and here you can search our plugin that is return refund and exchange for woocommerce here is plugin return refund and exchange for woocommerce and here you can click on install now or you can also get the plugin from the video description content we have mentioned the link for return refund and exchange for woocommerce free plugin so once the plugin has been installed you have to click on activate plugin so as you can see that the plugin has been installed We are on the backend settings of return refund and exchange for WooCommerce free plugin and here as you can see that we have added the documentation link and support link here in case if you want a detailed guide for the plugin setup and installation part so you can go to the documentation by clicking here and if you face any queries regarding the plugin functionality so you can contact us by clicking on support Here in this general settings tab the admin will find the settings related to enabling the refund order message and showing bank details for manual refund the refund functionality plays a vital role in building your customer vendor relationship as it allows the customer to get a refund of the product in case the product is damaged the product is wrong or any other issues coming with the product it ensures customer that you are there to help you in any need to nurture the customers more efficiently the plugin also offers the order message functionality by which the customers can directly send messages to the admin asking about the product queries or refund details and the admin can respond to the message directly thus leading to a strong customer vendor relationship so as you can see that these are the three fields that are enable refund enable order message enable to show bank details field for manual refund so when we will go to shop page and click on my account and click on order so here is the order so as you can see that we are getting the option of refund because from the back end the functionality is enabled so if we disable this and you can also see that here order message option is also coming here so because from the back end uh, order message is uh, enabled so here let's uh, disable this and click on save settings and let's refresh this so as you can see that uh, the message button and the refund button has disappeared because from the back end uh, the refund functionality and order message functionality has been disabled so this is how the admin will get the feature to enable the refund and enable the order message uh, as per his business requirements so if he wants to enable the refunds and if he wants to enable the order message so he can click on this and click on save settings so when he will uh, when i will refresh this so you can see that the refund button and the message button is coming here so basically uh, from here uh, in general settings the admin can find the settings really Related to the enabling the refund option and enabling the order message. Next, enable to show the bank details field for manual refund. So the, this functionality we have added uh, so that in case if the customers uh, want a manual refund, so that they can uh, fill the manual details in the description box. So here you can enable this and uh, it will allow the it will allow the customers to fill the manual details of the bank uh, for the uh, for the refund uh, in case they want to uh, in case they want to return the product and get the manual refund. So I, I will. explain you and i will show you how this will work so like here as you can see that this is enabled 
and here when i will go here and when i will click on refund so as you can see that here uh, the option is coming as please enter the bank details for manual refund so this is because from the back end we have enabled this functionality to show the bank details field for manual refund so if you disable this and click on save settings and when i will refresh this so as you can see that this option has disappeared so if you want to allow uh, the customers to, to fill their bank details manually so you can uh, enable this option to allow this so after that you have to click on save settings so basically Basically, these functionalities greatly help uh, will greatly help you to enable the refund functionality so that the customers can refund the products in case uh, in case the product is damaged or they don't want that product so that they can easily get the refund so you can uh, enable or disable the functionalities from here so this was all about the general settings tab now let's move to the next tab that is uh, refund we are on the refund settings tab so here the first uh, field is select pages to hide the refund button so from here the admin can select the page on which he wants to hide the refund button like order page or the view page thank you page so suppose I will select order page so let me click on save settings and here let me refresh this so as you can see that the refund button has disappeared this is because from the back end we have uh, decided to hide the refund button on the order page so this is how the admin can select uh, different pages to hide the ref uh, refund button next field is enable to show manage stock button so from here the admin can enable or disable to show the manage stock button so i will explain you in detail like where this uh, manage stock button comes uh, this comes whenever the one once the refund request is approved from the back end so the admin can enable to show the manage stock button so i will explain you this in detail next field is enable the attachment so this is a great feature by which the admin can allow the customers to attach the attachments uh, like images. So whenever the uh, customers are filling the request form, so they can add the attachments related to the products while making a, a refund for the product. So by default, uh, the attachment limit is set to 5. So here the admin can uh, configure like I am selecting like 1. So the customers will only be able to attach only one attachment. So uh, this is how you can easily configure these settings. Next is appearance. So here uh, the the admin will get the functionality to customize the refund button text like I am selecting refund button. So the, on the refund button te uh, the, text will, uh, the text will come as refund button. So this is how uh, the admin can change the appearance of the refund button text. Next is enable refund reason description. So from here the admin can enable this functionality and can allow the customers to write the uh, reason for the refund in the description box. So as soon as the admin will click on this toggle button, so a description box will be added in the refund request form so that the customers can write the description while making the refund. Next, the admin can also allow the customer to select the predefined refund reason. So here he can enter like I have entered damage not fit wrong product. So these uh, predefined refund reason will come as an option so that so that the customer can select any one of them like if the product is damaged so they can select damage or not fit or wrong product so they can select so this is how you can uh, easily decide the predefined refund reason with this plugin next is enable refund rules so from here the admin can click on this toggle button and suppose here he can write the refund rules like i have written please make sure to mention the description so after doing all these settings you have to click on save settings so now let's move to the front end so we are on the orders page so as you can see that here the uh, the text is coming as refund button so this is because from the back end we have decided the text as refund button so let us select this refund button so here is the uh, orders product refund request form and here as you can see that uh, here the uh, refund re predefined uh, refund request reason is coming as damaged not fit wrong product so this is because from the back end we have decided the predefined uh, refund reasons so this is because it's coming here so that so that the customers can select any of these reasons and next is description for refund reasons so this is coming because from the back end we have enabled uh, to refund reason description to enable the refund reason description so if you disable this so uh, this uh, box will disappear and the customers will not be able to mention the description uh, or uh, refund reason why they are returning this product next here the uh, attachment is coming because we have uh, enabled the attachment and here uh, the customers can upload the attachment and uh, the customers will not be able to attach more than one file because from the back end we have enabled like uh, we have set the limit uh, to one attachment limit to one so the customers will be able to choose only one file or the admin can decide as per his requirement 
so this is how you can configure these settings easily and one thing more as you can see that this is coming please make sure to mention the description so this is coming because from the back end we have uh, like uh, we have decided uh, we have enabled the refund rules and we have decided the rule as please make sure to mention the description so that's why it's coming here so let me place one uh, refund request so here the if the customer want to opt for manual refund so here they can enter the bank details next here the, he has the customer has to decide the subject of refund request and here i am deciding like i have decided like wrong product and i have to click on submit request so as you can see that uh, the disclaimer has come refund request placed successfully you have received a notification mail regarding this so this is how you can easily place the refund request so now let's again go back to the back end and one thing more like here as you can see that here the admin will get also the functionality to configure the refund request email refund request accept email and refund request cancel email so if he wants to configure so simply he has to click here and here uh, as you can see that these are the short codes available for the custom email so if the admin wants to create uh, the custom email so he can uh, use these short codes and here as you can see that already we have decided like uh, we have given the predefined email template like here he can enable or disable uh, for like a refund request email as per his requirements and here is the custom email and here is the heading or subject and here is the email type html so the admin can use these short codes if he wants like for the custom email so this is how he can configure uh, this email or uh, like he if he wants to configure for refund request email or for refund request accept email or for cancel email so simply he can click here and he can configure very easily so now let us go to the orders and here as you can see that it is the uh, refund requested is coming here because we have placed one uh, refund request so let's click on this here the admin can select refund requested refund approved or refund cancelled so let me click on refund approved and click on update and here you have to scroll down and here as you can see that the refund amount is coming here and the subject whatever the customer has decided and the reason uh, whatever the reason is mentioned in the description by the customer is coming here and no attachment is coming here because uh, we haven't attached any attachment uh, while placing the refund request so let us click on accept request and here as you can see that now uh, this is coming as manage stock button so the this was i was talking about so here let's go here and so here as you can see that in this refund uh, refund settings tab here we have enabled to show the manage stock button so as soon as the admin will play, accept the request so here this option will come as when the product back in stock then for stock management uh, the admin can click on manage stock and the admin can click on this refund amount so that the refund uh, the amount will be refunded back to the customer uh, on his bank account uh, filled by them like when whatever the manual details that have been filled by the customer so on that bank account the amount will be refunded back as soon as the admin will click on this refund amount button and when the for stock management the admin can easily click on manage stock so from here if i will uh, disable this option and click on save settings and when i will refresh this so as you can see that the manage stock button has been disappeared so this is how the admin can enable or disable this uh, manage stock button as per his requirements so this was all about the refund uh, refund settings tab and how refund is placed and how from the back end admin can approve or cancel and accept accept the uh, refund request and how he can refund the amount now let's move to next tab that is rma policies so we are on the rma policies tab so before uh, explaining you this uh, let me go here so as you can see that the refund approved is coming here as a status because from the back end previously we have approved uh, uh, the refund request that we have placed here so let's again go back and here as you can see that these are the predefined policies that have been created like on the basis of if else condition like a refund in case if maximum days or you can decide like order status or or tax handling these are the three status so here i uh, like here it is less than 1000 days so i am deciding like 30 days so maximum days uh, the refund will be allowed like uh, for 30 days so in case if this crosses 30 days so the refund uh, will not be accepted or the refund uh, the customer cannot place the refund request next uh, policy or condition is refund in case the order status is equal to pending payment processing on hold or completed suppose if i remove 
remove this completed so on the completed order status like this so like suppose this is the completed order status so for now the refund button is coming here because from here let me click on save settings now let me refresh this so as you can see that for the completed uh, it is not coming here this is because from the back end we have uh, we have like uh, removed this order status so if i place again and click on save settings and when i will refresh this so as you can see that for the order completed status the refund button is coming here so this is how you can decide the policy and decide the rules as per your requirement so this was all about the rma policies tab now let's move to the order message tab we are on the order message tab with the order message tab the admin can find the settings related to customizing the order message button text and enable the attachments functionality in the order message attachments in the order message will help the customer to add media like images of the product along with a refund related description so that the admin can understand their problems easily and process the refunds smoothly so here the admin will get the feature of enabling the attachment in the messages whenever the customer will send the message to the customer so they can add the attachment also directly so from here the admin can enable this and click on save settings and one thing more if the if the admin wants to change the order message button text so here i try like write like message button and click on save settings and here let me refresh this so you can see that the, it is coming as message button so this option is coming because from the back end in the general settings we have enabled Enable, enable order messages so here as you can see that uh, enable order messages so if i will disable this and click on save settings so here this option will be disabled so as you can see that the message button has been disappeared so let's enable this this is a great functionality that will help the customer uh, to message the admin directly regarding the product like if i will click on this message button and here uh, like i'm writing like so i have typed a dummy message like when this product will be back in stock and if the uh, customer wants to attach any file so simply he can add an attachment so this attachment is coming because we have enabled uh, the attachment from here like in the order message uh, we have enabled this enable attachment so that's why the attachment is coming here so let me click on this send and here let me refresh this so as you can see that in this order message history the message has come to the admin uh, from the customer send like when this product will be back in stock so here the admin can directly uh, message the customers like so simply the admin has to click on send uh, so as you can see that the disclaimer has come the mes message has been sent successfully so here let me refresh this and here the customer can see the message history like shop uh, the customer has sent this message when this product will be back in stock and from the shop manager the message has come the product will be back shortly so uh, as you can uh, as you are seeing that this order message plays a great role uh, so that the customer can send the message uh, to the admin directly uh, asking about the product update or while placing the refund they can ask queries so uh, you can allow or enable this functionality and enable attachment if the customer wants to add an attachment while sending a message to the admin so this was all about the order message tab now let's move to next tab that is api settings so we are on the api settings tab so from here the admin can enable the api so that uh, it can be integrated with the third party apps easily and smoothly so here uh, the admin can click on generate key and then he can get the secret key and enter here and enable the api integration so after that uh, you have to click on save settings this was all about the return refund and exchange for woocommerce free plugin now let's see what are the advantages of the plugin the plugin offers the efficient stock management so that the admin can easily manage the stock for the refunded products moreover the admin can send email notification to the customers for their refunds and the admin can also add refund guidelines for the customers whenever the customers are placing uh, the refund for the products the admin can also set predefined refund reason request that the customer can fill while placing the refund request and the return refund and exchange for woocommerce plugin offers api integration to integrate with third party apps easily and effectively if you want to get the product so the links to the product have been mentioned in the video description content and you can check and get all the details for any doubt you can contact us anytime and we will be glad to help you and if you have any queries regarding the plugin functionalities so you can mention your queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you and if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel like the video and press the bell notification icon to get all the latest update related to our channel 
एंड टिल द नेक्स्ट वीडियो स्टे कनेक्टेड विद अस थैंक यू